Hi, this is Bob Cook. Um, I'm going to talk about integrative psychotherapy for the internet channel TA Therapy. This uh, model is um, an integrative model that Richard Erskine put forward in his books and writings from 1988, uh, one I particularly like. So what is integrative psychotherapy <coughs> from his ideas? Firstly, that you help the client integrate uh, their cut off fragmented parts of the self which they're unaware of so they take, can take ownership of the whole. Secondly um, this form of integrated psychotherapy borrows from Freud's psychoanalytical ideas through to the humanistic ideas of Rogers, um, Eric Byrne in transaction analysis uh, gestalt psychotherapy and of course later self psychology. Erskine's major two beliefs for integrative psychotherapy rest on a commitment to positive life change and of course a respect for the integrity of the client. Uh, in terms of theories, um, of course Erskine talks about a, a theory of motivation which um, lies uh, beneath integrative psychotherapy in terms of uh, the relationship, the need for the relationship being the primary motivating force of human behaviour, which replaces, of course, in some ways, the drive theory <coughs> of Freud's ideas. OK, you know his ideas of drive theory, which then provide anxiety. And so, um, from integrative psychotherapy, uh, the need for relationship, and if there's interruptions to relationship, will bring anxiety. Of course, uh, another part of this is um, the need for structure and the need for stimulus. Um, the model, or the personality model, he takes from Eric Byrne's idea of ego state, which form up uh, for, form Byrne's ideas of transaction analysis. But anyway, the uh, major idea is that we have um, three parts of the self, the parent ego state, the adult ego state, and the child ego state, and they form the personality. So every moment of the day, you'll be coming from three parts of yourself, as I said, parent, adult, child. And in integrative psychotherapy, um, you'll be helping the client form a healthy, uh, integrated self. Okay. Uh, another way <coughs> of assessment they look at uh, from an integrative point of view is the different domains of the self. Um, which Erskine talks the cognitive domain, the behavioural domain, the affect domain, which is the emotional uh, domain in some ways, and the physical domain. And then when you're working with somebody, uh, this is good uh, assessment model really, in terms of where you're going to start, where you're going to aim the therapy. But let's not forget that we need to look at this in terms of a system, and that if you change the cognitive or help the person be aware of cognitive processes which they need to change, of course, that will have an effect on emotional aspects and behavioural aspects and physical aspects um, within the whole self in many ways. In terms of methods, they have three major methods, inquiry, attunement and involvement methodology. So they use these methods to help um, really come alongside the child, parent parts of the client. Um, inquiry is really asking questions, and there's two particular types: historical questions, you know, how, you know, why is this, and how does the past affect the present, and those sorts of questions. Phenomenological, more is how do you feel about that? How does that affect that? Um, attunement is uh, looking at coming alongside the client again, um, paying attention to their different rhythms, their different developmental levels they're coming from, and of course the relational needs, which we'll talk about later. And another method um, is to be around involvement, um, in terms of normalisation, which we'll talk about later, uh, and validation and acknowledgement. A big part of the theory of integrative psychotherapy is around relational needs. Do you remember earlier on I said that the prim primary motivating factor 
uh, for the human organism is to be in relationship. And as those relational needs uh, or the emotional needs um, perhaps that aren't being met in a relationship uh, get thwarted, then there'll be interruptions to contact um, and there'll be emotional deficits, if you like. So Erskine, in this model, talks about looking at relational needs that perhaps need attending to in terms of emotional health. And he's got the need for security, the need for self-definition, the need to be valued, um, acceptance by a dependable other, the need for further mutuality, and of course the need to initiate and the need to make an impact. And if those relational needs are met, then the person will defend and uh, act out in certain ways. So a therapist will be always aware of um, attending to those emotional needs as they come up in the therapy. Okay, in integrative psychotherapy, they'll always be looking for the script system. Another way to look at this is how the person organises the self in terms of a early life plan or an early t you know, template, and, um, you know, in terms of the decisions they've made about themselves, others and the world early on in life, which become an unconscious life plan, which they then carry out um, with a beginning, middle and end, and then act in the present. So if you can help the person become aware of their life plan, or their script as we're talking about here, or their script system, then you can help the person change parts of that script system if need be to develop a more healthy life plan today so um, in terms of organizing the self <coughs> under integrative psychotherapy the theory is that the person very early on makes decisions about self others of the world expresses feelings at the time of those early decisions um, I've got some of the feelings there they might repress and looking for how they might um, reinforce or the behavioural displays that might be played out in the ref uh, reinforcing of the script um, and I've got three areas that uh, any therapist would uh, explore when looking at script um, and then looking at repeated experiences that confirm that script and how they're enacted out today.